Once we cared. Long ago, why? Way back when, way last century, we felt for the burning rivers and them poisoned lakes. Now we're too far online for that kind of squishy, job-killing, non-profit, low-def kind of spam. Wow, so groups actually demonstrated for clean air without using like flash mobs or Twitter feeds? Once, three or four billion people ago, we even thought that overpopulation posed the major threat. Laws once passed with agencies created have now been long unenforced and indeed defunded. No time now to protect big chicken waste or big coal mountaintop removal or big anything else. Look at these old videos of them long hairs whining about like dying trees and dis disappearing species. Our weak economy and high cost of families and jobs and money are our proper interests now. It was so long ago and they were callow and idealistic youth. But look, even they grew out of it. From the advanced perspective of our always on e-lives, it's easy to see beyond their misguided ideals. Imagine, we once even hoped to integrate human society into systems that balance the natural world. Thankfully, we were able to finally to decide what really is important and what cannot be changed. Once we cared about acid rain, deforestation, sprawl, smog, peas, love, cooking, and meditation. But we got off the weed, part-timed our MBAs, found Jesus, and focused in on our family consumerism. We view today's indoctrine disruptors and PCB mutations as mere indicators of our blessed progress. Now we proudly pull high on environmentalism, but quietly, we're good with our leaders doing nothing. Anyway, factory pollution is way, way down since CEOs bonused out, shifting all our production to China. But we still need more deregulation for the energy independence to commute alone in fat pickups. Not to worry, cities are going back to nature now, bulldozing thousands of abandoned crack houses. Then we were stoned, sitting cross-legged, knitting sweaters, canning food, and wearing green Epsilon tees. That was long before we learned to leverage no down payment liar loans into home equity income. You see, times were simpler then, before this global warming scam threatened our family lifestyle. I digitized all of my old pictures, but they aren't really high def and everyone looks way too skinny anyway. Here are the old songs playing in the six snack food aisles. Now, as I stuff my cart with puffy cellophane treats. Why, once we even thought that our careers needed to be fulfilling and contribute to a better world. But we've adjusted to be to being soon to be forever offshored wage slaves via a mindless consumption. Now we can make fun of bird watchers, hikers, bikers, and anybody else who's not gasoline powered. At last we matured into proudly ignorant libertarians and assumed our ordained exceptionist mantle. Used to doubt the wisdom of unregulated oligarchies, but now we totally get this self-responsibility. Learned that subsidized big agriculture competition ensures us all a healthy and sustainable food supply. Imagine, we once thought simple prevention could actually solve many health and crime problems. There was a time, long before we left them to the pre-funeralists, that we rejected our elders' ways. Once we were even concerned over like spotted owls and salmon runs, urban sprawl, and toxic trash. Times must have been so much simpler then, before we started driving these giant eight-passenger SUVs. Praise the Lord and adjust the thermostat, send a text, and click on that latest deep truth tweet. Thanks to our modern wisdom, now we see how idealistic fantasies always decay into a failed socialism.